Hope you're having a good day. Jordan Trask here, and I'm live at O'Reilly's. It's kind of cold out, so don't make fun of my hat. But I'm on the move. I haven't drawn my uh, random business for my random strategy for the holiday season yet. And I thought, you know, I'm sitting here waiting on a spark plug that I, let's just do one for O'Reilly's. Let's just do one for an auto parts dealer. Uh, you know, what's the difference in me drawing something with or pulling up on something? So um, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, initially, uh, you know, people are going to come. They kind of have their go-to place, right? Let's just jump right into this. Go-to place. I go to O'Reilly's. I know I used to go to Pet Boys and stuff when I was on the west west side of Arizona. Um, either way, I kind of you kind of, you know, develop that go-to neighborhood place to go to for your auto needs, whether that's oil changes or spark plugs or... Uh, you know, gas treatment, whatever it is that you come maybe to wash your car and stuff, you just get some supplies. And, uh, you know, you, you don't, I don't necessarily think that the marketing matters for that uh, unless you're one of those people that randomly kind of stumble in, you know, marketing or TV commercials are just kind of those things that continue to remind you of the deals and specials with these types of businesses, you know, department stores, Walmarts, Kroger's, places like this that kind of constantly have that traffic. I don't know about you, but every time I go into O'Reilly's, they're busy. Um, you know, just want to remind people by getting your brand in front of them because I think it's a nice stream I don't think they're really hurting But I think what it really comes down to with these types of businesses is a differentiation. And it's funny. I just made a post about that <clears throat> You know if you're um, Gonna invest in anything. It's got to be your differentiation if you want to be recognizable You want a good reputation you want people to come into your store Maybe drive an extra mile to come into your store or your business um, versus the other person, then then you got to be able to differentiate the experience or the value. Sometimes, you know, it can be tempting to go with price on certain things, especially holiday campaigns to get people in the door when they're out shopping or maybe to get gifts and stuff to get that extra money. But at the end of the day, what you really wanted to focus on as a main corporation like this one is uh, something that's going to uh, drive loyalty or drive customer appreciation or increase foot traffic by the same type of people throughout the remainder of the year. It's not just about coming in here to get daddy a, a tire gauge or um, you know, a tire pump or something like that that's really cheap for a stocking stuffer um, because you know O'Reilly's has it. You want to come to O'Reilly's because you know that they have good parts, quality parts. <laughs> I'm not doing a commercial for it. Believe me, I mean, I'm not going to be an advocate for these types of businesses because I don't really have one that I'm tied to. I think O'Reilly's is just a f familiarity thing for me. Um, but that's that's really when you think about it, that's really what a lot of these companies invest in and rightfully so, right? You know, the competition's always there. Like I said, the foot traffic's always there. So how do you, how do you now separate yourself? How do you differentiate yourself? How do you uh, position yourself? I got a hole in my shirt. As unique, as worth it. Um, how, how do you uh, not just drive recognition um, and awareness and stuff like that, but trust, right? And I think during the holiday season, one of those things um, that you, the, one of the ways that you could do that, just like yesterday's strategy is focusing on education, focusing on different ways to give people uh, information or details on things that you know that as the expert that they could put in their pocket and adopt and it becomes part of their, uh, you know, daily routine or, or uh understanding of life right um that maybe things that they just didn't know before and what what a better way to to market during the holiday season than to talk to people about um some of the potential car problems your auto parts store right <laughs> o'reilly's your i mean you got all kinds of stuff in there that you know you got some gloves and and knives and stuff in there and toy cars and stuff that you know you could sell while people are in the door for some stocking stuffers and stuff um which you know it's not a bad idea to sprinkle in a commercial but um you want to make sure that people are coming in and uh uh already have like a sense of trust with you uh the guy at the door is staring at me so i kind of get a little nervous but um live this is live um but you know you want to have a sense of trust or appreciation right i mean as a man i know for me uh, you know no matter what i do is i think if i'm appreciated everything's okay and i think when it comes to business like this to know that you're appreciated for the information that you that you that you share, that you put a lot of time in, in developing, I think it's really important. Um, and I think it's in, it will encourage the business or you know the stakeholders or the people making the decisions at the top that, hey, let's try to be more in tune with our audience. Let's try to create more personal, personable videos and stuff to drive that engagement because people appreciate it. They appreciate us. While that feels good, we, uh, we're making more money. We're appreciated. Our customers are enjoying the experience. They know that they could trust us. And uh, anyways, um, so what are some ideas that you could promote? I think, you know, 
safety tips for the holidays. If you're traveling during the holidays, you could have a commercial about that. Just maybe giving some people some real life experiences of people that actually broke down or certain things happened that they had to stumble into at Auto's, uh, AutoZone, <laughs> an O'Reilly's auto parts store. Um, you know, if there's roadside assistance or something that could pick them up and then drop, bring them into a store or something and just kind of show that friendly experience. Now, the thing that's dangerous with this type of stuff when you showcase an experience, maybe you have a really, really nice, warming, welcoming front desk guy or gal that it makes the commercial, right? That's kind of the focal point of the commercial and drives home the value. Now, if you don't have that type of person in every store, that can hinder the experience. So you have to just be cognizant of these types of things when you're building your campaigns, making sure that, hey, we're not lying or we're not putting false information just to persuade people to come in, to feel good about the holidays. Like we're, all of our employees are amazing people that can give you good advice and counseling when you come in on a freezing, freezing night on the way to grandma's house. Um, you know, so anyways, uh, you want to talk about the entire experience in, uh, you know, from the need, the problem, help people avoid that problem. And then when they run into that problem, help them to know um, that they could trust on you and count on you for the, the service products that you provide. Right. And, um, and then taking the time during the holiday season to maybe audit or check in on your people, right? Build your culture and make sure that, hey, this is a commercial that we're going to do. And I want to just do a survey to see how everybody feels about it. Is this something, would you enjoy doing this? Is this the type of person, this type of experience that you would give people? And be real, real upfront with your with your employees and, and your, your culture and say, hey, like, what can I do better to make sure that you're providing this environment? This is the type of warm and welcoming store that we wanna have in the marketplace. And as the leaders of this business, we wanna do everything that we can to make sure that you're taken care of as our forward facing uh, people to make sure that you're providing this. Um, anyway, somebody's coming out here. I think they're nervous that I'm sitting in front of the store. But that, that's what I would do for the holiday strategy. I would keep it real simple. Uh, concepts, uh, examples of being broke down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Being broke down, why you might need O'Reilly's. And then during the holiday season, some relevancy, some things, some tips that help you avoid those types of situations. And then, you know, when you run in, into a problem, you know, how, how you go in the store, what to look for, to know that you could trust, warm environment, happy, you know, Merry Christmas. You know, have that, that guy, you know, maybe with a Santa hat on and, uh, um, you know, jingle bells in the background or something, some really cool music, and obviously have some snow to make sure we know it's the holidays. But this is a campaign that you could, one second, this, this is a campaign that you could run all year and you could do all kinds of different things from uh, urban settings to rural settings to being broke down, maybe in the middle of nowhere to being broke down uh, in a place that you're just unfamiliar with. And all these different ways that you can help people, potential customers figure things out and not shove a bunch of products or parts in their face. I think people know what you got. People know um, what you're there for, right? And the the key is to getting them to trust you so that when they have that need, they have the memory to be able to remember, say, man, I, I think we should look for O'Reilly's first. And then if there's not one nearby, they'll go to the secondary spot. But if you can get somebody to subconsciously search for your business immediately when they have that need that you provide or that you, or the, um, and they have that problem that you solve, right? Man, that's that, that's good stuff. That means you have good marketing. That means you have good branding. And most importantly, that, that means you have a good culture because you're able to carry that throughout the year. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys. Merry Christmas. And always remember to pre-focus.